Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with my birthday edition of 90 Day Oy Vey. Let's hop right into it. So first of all, I have a question to ask all of you guys, especially my fellow tri-state area people, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, all the way up to Massachusetts. Did you fucking feel that? We had an earthquake today. Oh, yes, we did, guys. And Kelly's reaction is priceless. Let me share that with you. So at about 10.23 East Coast time this morning, we had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Now, I know you West Coast people are probably laughing your ass off at me right now, but um, I live in New York City. I'm not accustomed to earth earthquakes, okay? Thunderstorms, blizzards, all that good shit. Yeah, but... um. When my whole building started to shake this morning, nah, mm -mm. I'm out. Okay, so this is Kelly's reaction. Did we just have an earthquake? I I didn't I didn't drink or smoke. I know I'm not bugging, right? Like, what just happened? No, Kelly, you're not bugging. We did have an earthquake. Okay, and like I said, guys. It was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake centered in Teeksbury, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, it, and um, of course, the emergency alert started going off on my phone way after it, it happened. And now they're talking about aftershocks. And as of a couple of hours ago, there was another 2.0 magnitude aftershock in New Jersey. And I know you West Coast viewers are laughing your ass off at me, but nah, I, I'm, I'm not with this. I am totally not with this, especially on my 50th birthday. Is God trying to tell me something? What is happening? Okay, moving on to some actual 90-day news. Rob and Sophie. Rob, it, with his motivational quotes, Sophie is a Fashion Nova ambassador. Okay, but um, Rob is defending himself this week against Sunday's episode and the whole toilet paper fiasco. Okay, so he, he's defending himself and he wants everyone to know we all have good moments and bad moments as part of being human. Give others grace and as long as you leave with empathy and understanding, you'll remain on the path to righteous, righteousness but remember, use discernment before proceeding to allow others in your life. Everyone has to earn a place in your space. Like I said, Rob has been really motivational lately on social media. Okay, now this picture is weird. I know it's just a huge cactus and he's just standing there looking up at it, but I don't know. Okay. Let's move on. Kobe and Emily, the most heartwarming couple so far this season. And we have pictures of Emily and Kobe with the family, grandma holding little Scarlet. I mean, it just makes my heart warm. I don't know. I love these guys this season. And we have baby ATM, adorable. Oh, okay. Lauren and Alexi. They're going to be appearing this season with their brood. And I have a feeling that's going to be the other heartwarming story because their kids are just way too cute. Ed and Liz, on the other hand. Okay, Liz, in real time, she is looking fucking fantastic. Okay, I give it to her. Fantastic. Now, she's hanging out with her new man. She's totally washed the mayo I'm out of her hair. Ed is gone. Okay. Now, Riley, thank goodness, she is saving this current season of Happily Ever After. I think if Riley wasn't in the scenes with Ed and Liz, uh, I don't know what I would do because I have to watch the show for you guys to do a recap. 
So thank goodness for Riley, okay? Now, I have some news for you guys because you know I'm the channel that has the tea. Did you know about the new couple? Yes, Ed and Sophie. Can you believe it? I have an exclusive picture, okay? Are you ready? Ready for it? Happy late April Fool's Day. I know it's April 5th, but like my father said, I was born four days late. I should have been born on the 1st. So happy April, late April Fool's Day, everyone. I got you, didn't I? Debris and Miona, okay? Miona has moved on. She has moved on from Jabri. She has washed him out of her hair, okay? Jabri has been traveling this, there, everywhere, trying to find himself. He went live. I'm going to share a little bit, okay? It looks like he's still trying to find himself. I'm able to exude that now to everybody. Are you at peace? Yes, I'm very at peace. Are you coming to Australia? I would love to come to Australia. It's late out there. Are you? What time is it in Australia right now? What's something you would say behind the scenes that was funny? Um, <laughs> there's so much shit. I don't know. Uh, you've been making music, haven't you? I see that the music in your eyes. Yeah, music is coming, bro. Music's coming. I haven't hit my dent in the music industry, so I need to definitely do that. But right now, I'm like on this nomad, just creative journey. Where do you live currently? You know, it's so funny. My mom's like, where? People ask, like, where does Jabri live? Like, where is he at? She's like, um, somewhere on planet Earth. He's somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Where are you going to travel to next? I don't know. Um, I actually got to look at flights tonight. <laughs> I got to keep moving. Fly, Brazil, flying off to the Brazil next place. Me. I don't know what is this. Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. The favelas. The music. So I have a feeling Latin America may be his next stop. I mean, he did a tour of Asia. So Latin America may be the next one. Okay. Moving on. Corey provides a visa update regarding Evelyn, okay? And this, I, I, my heart will be in my ass if this was me, okay? So I'm going to let Corey tell you. It's, I was called in by immigration because I needed to go to an interview for Evelyn, which is really Yes, you heard that right. He was called in by immigration because he needed to give an interview for Evelyn, okay? And yes, it's fucking weird really weird that like never happens usually it's evelyn that would have had to be doing the interview so at first i thought this was really strange my mom received a letter in the mail saying that i needed to be there immediately and i was preparing for this interview that i was going to be having today and apparently like i don't even have to attend it they made a mistake immigration thought that me and evelyn were apparently already in the united states which makes no sense whatsoever uh, we applied three years ago. They thought that I was living in the United States because of the mailing address that I had provided. Come by, you know, for an interview. But they made it sound like really intense, like it's a mandatory thing. And it's just like, now I'm here, about ready to head into the interview. And they're like, you don't even have to be here. It's just like, just super frustrated. No, I'm like, hey, like I've been living in Ecuador full time for the last like three years plus now. Like, what the heck? And they're like, oh, we didn't know that, but we see here in the paperwork that, uh, yeah, you have been. It's like, what is going on? They admitted they made a mistake too. We just needed to prove that Corey and Evelyn are still in a relationship. I flew out here all the way to the US to go to this meeting. I didn't even have to do that because they didn't read through the paperwork. And it's been sitting there for three years. What in the world is wrong with the system? Of course, I'm super happy to be back visiting my mom and my brother, and it's always good to be back home. Yeah, so I I don't blame Corey for being frustrated because it's like, what in the hell happened there? Yeah, so Corey flew back to the States for nothing. Okay, now we have Nikki. And um, first of all, she is going to start deleting fake and phony people off of her social. So if you're one of those fake or phony people that follow her, she may delete you. Yeah. Anyway, okay, Nikki is taking bookings, okay, as a um 
hairstyling, makeup artist, lip doctor. I don't even know. She's going to be in Brooklyn. If you want to be styled by the million dollar Barbie, she's taking bookings. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Single life cast. Mama Karen and Chantel are unrecognizable now. Okay. Yes, I said it. Both of them are unrecognizable. They went live the other day in the car. Okay. I want to share this. And besides the fact that Chantel talks like her jaw is wired shut, both her and her mother are unrecognizable to me now. Okay. From when they first started. about it veruca wanted an oopaloopa now daddy so you don't and don't forget to follow me on shan's beauty plan yes. and go follow southern surgical arts beauty bar in atlanta yes and follow miss karen nasty or not and look at our live on monday called the bsr live all right bye for now bye yeah ah uh, they are unrecognizable to me now and why does Chantel talk like that? I don't know. Too, too many fillers in her face. I don't know what she did. But everyone in the 90 Day franchise, David is so proud. So proud of Tyree for getting his first kiss, okay, in front of national television. But hey, whatever you got to do. Love in Paradise starts again on April 22nd, okay? The cast seems really interesting, especially this dude, okay? Um, his name is Kyle Gordy, okay? And apparently, he is a sperm donor, everybody, okay? And I... I uh, Now, it's not the fact that he's a sperm donor, okay? But uh, this guy has something like hundreds and hundreds of children out there. He even has a website, um, Be Pregnant Now or something, BePregnantNow.com, okay? And, and uh, I don't know, something about this guy, and I haven't even seen him on my TV yet, I feel like he's going to be a wackadoodle. I don't know, but we shall see. Speaking of wackadoodles that have appeared on Love and Paradise, E. Scott is a stalker, apparently, okay? Now, I want to give credit to the Instagram account, 90 Day FOMO, for breaking this. If you aren't following them, please do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Apparently, one of Scott's exes filed for a restraining order against him because allegedly he was stalking her okay um this was filed in february of 2024 and um yeah on top of everything else that is stacking up against e scott it seems like he has a restraining order huh not a good look e scott not a good look at all now Speaking of normal couples that came out of Love in Paradise, we have um, Daniel and Amber, and I am loving Amber's brows, okay? I'm loving them too. And before I wrap this up, and I'm going on a cruise, guys. I'm leaving this Sunday, and I will be back on the 19th. So this will be my last video for a while. So before I wrap this up, let's just get to some miscellaneous updates. We have Darcy, unrecognizable. Shekinah, unrecognizable. We have Anfisa, who is looking good. Guillermo and Kara, looking good. Colty, with his doggy. Annie, who is going through a MyVF treatment. Fingers crossed that you get pregnant soon, Annie. We have baby girl Lisa and Ella, who is looking fantastic. She has dropped tons of weight, looking fantastic. And we have this week, Wackadoodle of the Week nominees, Robin Sophie, like I said, fighting over toilet paper. 
and Lizaned fighting like children in front of Riley. Okay. And Robin Sophie took it by a landslide of 65% to 35%. And yeah, I agree because when you're a newlywed couple arguing over toilet paper, there is something wrong there. So something really, really wrong. And if you guys haven't checked out Kelly and I's recap of this past episode, um, episode three, Snow Wife and the Seven Chores, please do. And finally, before I get on my cruise on Sunday, I just want to say, especially after the earthquake that we had today, the rain that we've been having for the past two to three weeks, I need some out of town air. For real, for real. Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button. Share my video with a friend or 10. And I'll see you guys when I get back on the 19th. Bye, everybody.